undefeated Nuggets await their first-round opponent between the Wolves, Thunder, and Pelicans. The Kings get the Warriors, and the Los Angeles Clippers face conference favorite Phoenix Suns. All right, let's play a little game of chance. Monica and Wendy are back with me to break down the chances lower seeds in the West have to take out higher seeds. Everyone thinks that this is wide open this year. Let's see. All right, let's start with the Lakers. Monica, what are the chances the Lakers take out the Grizzlies and why? I don't know if these are the rules to this game, but I'm going numerical chances, and I got 50% Wendy and Max. I think that if Anthony Davis continues to have a monster performance, 24 and 15 versus the T-Wolves, love that. If he continues in that vein, then frankly, it's going to be a tall task for the Grizzlies 50%. to guard. Take 51 or 49. 50. Wait, Max, this is, you, you that's a you, cop out. You didn't say no rules. It can't end in a tie. First of, all, first of all, it's not. You didn't say no rules, so let me continue. Damn. Anyway, so 50% on the Lakers. The other 50% is for the Grizzlies. If they continue to be one of the teams that leads the league or the leading team in the league in terms of points in the paint, I don't know that the Lakers have any matchup for John Morant in particular. You didn't say no rules. Continue, Wendy. What's you your know, chances? when you were doing your photo shoot over there earlier, we were wow. establishing certain on rules TV? for the game. You going to do that on TV? Wendy, please, what are your chances? <laughs> I got, you know, the Grizzlies are a good team. The Grizzlies are very, very good. And I, so I got the Lakers at 40%, which I was yeah, even, see? didn't feel even that great about. Because John Morant's <laughs> going to give the Lakers a lot of problems. I mean, his activity and athleticism is going to give the Lakers perimeter a lot to handle. Desmond Bain has played really well in the second half of the season. I think the Lakers have Anthony Davis mm -hmm. against a team that is decimated on its front line due to injury. And that is the, the card that they're going to play in addition to LeBron James. If they can get this series into six or seven, give LeBron a chance to steal it, that would be a great opportunity. I'm sticking with 40%. He understood the assignment. You didn't say no rules. Next Wendy, question. did you just do a sh photo shoot before when we were establishing the rules <laughs> of the game, or did you just prepare for I'm not coming on this program no more. Next, I, next question. 51% for what, the Lakers. See how I do that? It's basically 50-50, but I'm choosing okay. a side. Come on, no more 50-50s. Come on, let's go. Next up, defending <laughs> champs facing the Kings. Wendy, what are the chances the Warriors eliminate the Kings? Yeah, I feel bad to come off disrespecting the Kings because they really have a good team and they've done a lot, but I got the defending champs at 55% um, because I just think there's so many things going for the Warriors right now. They're playing better. They're going to have their whole team. They have rest. Um, they're, you know, I understand that they've been terrible on the road uh, this season, but I, so much of it is defensive focus, where their defensive focus at home was so much better. They don't have to get in an airplane, which is a huge advantage in the Western Conference, where you can sometimes have four-hour flights in between playoff games. I think the Kings have a lot going for them, but I think their defense is suspect. Um, and I think they're also going to have a huge, huge experience deficit against a team that is so confident in these situations. Okay, Monica, here's one for you. The okay. Clippers. <clears throat> you want to do the Warriors? Okay, let's do the Warriors. No. Oh, I wanted to go to the Clippers for you, but let's, let's hear about the Okay, Clippers. my Warriors, I actually feel terrible now because Wendy was apologizing for 55. I had the Warriors at 60%. Mm. I, I think the Warriors, I, listen, I, y'all know me. I love to root for the young blood and the new teams and the new names, but not having to get on a plane, I think is truly a game changer. And the more I talk to my former NBA colleagues, mm. there is a playoff switch if you are the Golden State Warriors. All four teams make it from Southern California, right? From, from the first yeah. time ever. Mm -hmm. um, the Warriors should be favored. I agree, 60-40. Mm -hmm. And it's no disrespect to the Kings. Kings could Kings could potentially win a championship is a lot this of year. Space. I, people who are like, the Kings can't win. They're 19th in defense. It's not like they're dead last in defense. And their space and pace is like everyone's where they should be. They play fast. They hit shots. They're live. But come on, they're defending champs for a reason. Monica, what are the chances the Clippers take out KD? and the Suns. Uh, I got this one at 45. Does that make you feel better? Does that work? Yeah. 45. Uh, I, don't, I don't think this is going to happen, but the one thing I've been thinking about lately that I am curious to see what happens, Ty Lue, uh, also a big shout out to Rajon Rondo who joined us yesterday. Ty Lue's preparation, Kawhi Leonard's still strong defensive acumen. I think a guy like Terrence Mann could have a sneaky kind of game, big performance or big defensive performance. Can they make it difficult on Kevin Durant and then where does the depth of the Phoenix Suns put them? I think the Suns survived this one, but I'm not super, super, super convinced, although I'm taking Phoenix to come out of the West. Wendy, Monica has it at 45. Where do you have it? I got it at 40. If I thought Paul George was going to play in this series, I would have a different number. 
I just don't think he's going to be able to come back. I know that he was seen shooting at practice today, but shooting is a long way from playing playoff basketball, and that's huge. Now, Kawhi Leonard is an absolute beast, and he can absolutely tilt a series on his own, and if mm-hmm. he does that, then let's have another conversation. But Durant has lost four times since Thanksgiving. This is what okay? Now, granted, he's missed games, but yeah. he's had four losses in four or five months. Uh, now you got to beat them four out of seven. They've never even lost as, as, as with the Suns yet. They have home court advantage. Uh, there's too many things in the Suns' favor. I understand that their role players are going to be put under pressure. That's what Ty Lue and the Clippers should do. And they could they could make this series interesting because of that. But I just think it's too much firepower. And Devin Booker, while everybody's been paying attention to Durant, Devin Booker just had maybe the best six or seven weeks of regular season yeah. basketball his career uh, coming into this postseason. And I was looking up um, postseason stats. Like, I, I, tell me if I'm, this is too far gone to say, Wendy, but I feel like Book has been a proven entity in the postseason. When you look at outside Except of that, for the finals, yeah, right? yeah. that ten point game in the finals, yeah. yeah. But overall, in terms well, of shooting percentage, last high year's 40s, end of that series marred it. But yeah, yeah he's got yeah, a good yeah. clutch okay, record okay. overall. Yeah. yeah. It's my turn now, Monica. Please, sorry, continue, Max. I have the safe <laughs> loaded. 35% because of what Wendy said. And that's okay. generous. You ain't okay. going to win this series out, Paul George. Ty Lue, I think, is the number one coach in the NBA. I think he's the best coach in basketball okay. right now. I think the Clippers are the deepest team in the Western Conference. And I think Kawhi Leonard is, a, I know he is, a two-time finals MVP. Mm-hmm. But this is what I suspect. KD is where LeBron once was when he is active, which is so much better than the rest of the league that if you put him on a team with, two, with another great player and a leader like Chris Paul, especially guys who can hit shots from anywhere, I suspect no one takes this Suns team seven games this whole postseason. No sevens, okay. No, yeah, no back-to-backs. I'm saying that Ke- Kevin Durant. I got gotcha. you. Was it worth it the way I built it up or not so much? No, I'm, I'm, that's a, that is a proclamation. My friend, see it. The Lakers punched their ticket to the playoffs last night. Why I think... They can advance past John Morant and a very tough Grizzlies team in the first round. Zion Williams says, Williamson says he's not coming back until he can be Zion. Will that be soon? Because with Zion, the Pelicans are live. And why one Packer thinks the team is not going to give in on their trade demands for Aaron Rodgers. He has a whole strategy. Let's go. And we begin with the Lakers, who survived a scare from the Timberwolves, winning in overtime and clinching the seventh seed in the West. LeBron had 30 and 10. AD, 24 and 15. The Lakers now have time to rest before their first round series with the Grizzlies, which starts Sunday. All right, let's talk some hoops. Monica McNutt, Brian Windhorst, recruit up. Guys, I'm actually encouraged by the Lakers win. Oh, I'm encouraged by it. As, as Keyshawn Johnson was pointing out this morning, you know, had they not had a play in and they had to wait a good long while with a, basically still a kind of new group together, that's not so good maybe. They get a little more playoff experience, right? Playoff intensity. They play together a little more. They still have a nice long rest. And Wendy, Monica, what if I were to tell you, you knew nothing else about this season. You just knew the best defensive team in the league, certainly a top three defensive team, has a healthy LeBron and AD and competent shooters. Could you eliminate that team from title contention? I can't. What's your takeaway last mm. night, Monica? Oh, that's an interesting twist you got there, Kellerman. Uh, I would need more information. I think on the surface, if you were to stop there in terms of your description, yeah, you'd be like, okay, bet. But this is also to our conversation yesterday. Like, this is a year where there's not a definitive best team in the West. So I get it. It totally makes sense. I don't know if I buy that that is going to happen. But I can see how people are making that argument, Wendy. Yeah, that, Wendy, there's not a best team in the West. The only caveat is the Suns might roll the whole league right now. But other than that, like, let's see what happens. Other than that, it looks wide open. What stood out to you about L.A., Wendy? Yeah, I, I wouldn't say this was an encouraging performance by the Lakers, but it is sort of the reason why you think they got a chance. And that's because even in the worst of times, they defend – And they also have two star players who can find ways to get things done. It was not a clean game by either LeBron or AD, but they found ways to get things done. And that's a huge difference making thing to have in a postseason setting. A lot of people have compared this year's Lakers with last year's Brooklyn Nets. The Nets were the seventh seed in the East, and people were like, oh, they're dangerous. And then the Celtics slapped them out of the playoffs. The difference between that team and this team is that the Lakers defend. And that defense, and I realize the Wolves were not at the best 
that defense is what got them into overtime because they were able to get stops. And that defense will hopefully give them an opportunity against Memphis because their offense was not good in this game and they were not playing an elite defense. Memphis does have an elite defense, and that's what they're going to be facing in the next game. By one. the way, without Gobert, I'm really convinced. They, they suspended Gobert because they're better without him. I mean, I'm sorry. I'm, you. I'm kind of with I, you. I, you know, I, I thought they, they probably. And, I and disagree by the way, with An, that. Anthony Edwards had a very bad offensive game. He's a good defender, right? He's a good defender. D'Angelo Russell might look better in this, in this next round. Grizzlies guard the But not having Gobert killed them yesterday. You think it killed them? Kill? Carl Anthony yeah, Towns looked comfortable Towns on 